So we've taken a look at before uh, linear inequalities. Remember, linear means line, and inequalities are are these sorts of things, and they might be equal to as well. Uh, so these are where we were. We drew the line. At, that was our boundary line, and then we shaded either the region below or the region above. Now we're going to look at systems of linear inequalities, and all this really means is we have more than one uh, linear inequality that we're going to have to deal with. So in this first example, we've got two. And so what we're going to do is we're going to graph this boundary line and look at the region, whether it's above or below. And then we're going to graph this one and look at the region uh, on either side of that line. And then make sure that the region, what we're going to try to find is a region that satisfies both of these conditions. So there's really nothing new here. It's just that we're, we're sort of doing two questions in one, if you like. So let's, let's, um, it's a good thing we've got some colors here. Let's do this top one here in red. X plus Y is less than or equal to three. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of algebra here to isolate my Y. So I'm gonna minus X from both sides to get Y is less than or equal to negative X plus three. So let's graph this one. It's got a y-intercept of three. One, two, three. There we go. And it's got a slope of, that would be a minus one, so like minus one over one. So my slope would be down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. Like so. I can continue the dots up here. So this would be a solid line because it's four equal to. So let's draw that line. There we go. And now we'll do our test point. Let's try the point zero, zero. Let's put her into the original one here. Zero plus zero is zero. Is zero less than or equal to three? Yes, it is. So in this case, we would be shading all of these points on this side of the line. All of the points in here will satisfy this first equation. So now let's look at our second one here. This is x greater than or equal to one. Okay, so here is where x is equal to one. And so the equation x equals one is simply this vertical line at x equals one. So that's the vertical line there. Uh, x equals one, there's the graph of that one. Greater than or equal to x is greater than or equal to one. So now we need to test our point. Um, and obviously the values of x that are greater than or equal to one would be these ones. So now we get this kind of this colorful looking region. Let's even switch now to a green pen. So we can make some interpretations here. Um, this area here that we haven't shaded at all these points in here don't work in either of the equations because they're not sh nothing shaded here. So these any point that we pick kind of in this region up in here, this kind of triangular region here, they're not going to work in here and they're not going to work in here. This region here that is just red, these represent the points that work in this one but not in this one. And these points up here that are just blue, this shaded region that's just blue, they would work in this equation but not in this equation. And then finally these points in this region down here where they're shaded blue and red, these are the points that satisfy this equation and this equation. And so this would be this would be our solution set here. Because these are the points that uh, satisfy both uh, linear inequalities. So this would be our, our solution. So really it, it really is just two questions in one. Graph this one, graph this one and find the region where both are shaded or where the, the two solutions overlap. Let's look at another example. Okay, I've got two x minus y is greater than or equal to three, and I got y is greater than or equal to one. So these are the two systems that we're going to do. And let's add a little bit of a variation here. Let's say on this one we want x uh, is an element of the integers and y is the element of the integers. So not all real numbers, just just the, the uh, integers, the positive and negative numbers without decimals and fractions. 
So let's go back and uh, look at our first equation here. 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 3. So our first inequality. Let's minus 2x from both sides to get rid of this. And now I've got like a negative 1 in front here. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 1 to get, whoop, I'm dividing by a negative. Got to remember to flip that inequality sign around. Negative divided by negative is positive 2x minus 3. Okay, so let's work with equation, or inequality number 1. I got a y intercept of minus 3 down here, and we've got a slope of 2. So up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And I got a solid line because it is uh, equal to as well. And then now let's figure out which side we would shade on. I like the test 0, 0. So putting it in here, 2 times 0 minus 0 is 0. Is 0 bigger than or equal to 3? No, it is not. So I'm going to be shading the, this, whoops, no, I'm not shading. This is the one where we've got integers. So you've got to be careful there, don't we? So these are the ones where we're just going to have some dots. I don't know how many dots to do. Let's Okay, there we go. I I filled a bunch in down here. So these would represent all of the integers that would satisfy this inequality. So let's go to our blue function now, which is y greater than 1. So this does not have an equal sign in it. So this would be the line y equals 1. So y greater than 1 is going to be all these points above them. So now I've gone and I have put little dots on all of the integer coordinates on this graph. And um, so now I'm ready to come up with my solution set. So I'm looking for the regions where they overlap. Now that would be these points right here. But I could only use, let's, I'm going to maybe go over them in green then. I can, it has to be greater than, greater than um, y equals 1. So it could be this point, this point, this point, this point. This point could be this point because I can include the ones on the line. This point, this point. I can include the ones on this red line. So it'd be, it would be these points in here that would represent y values that are more than 1 but are less than or equal to um, this line here. y is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. So I get these set of points out, out here in this region. So there's that one. And we'll look at one final example. OK. x plus y is greater than or equal to 1. So let's isola isolate y, bring the x to the other side. That's negative x plus 1. So I have a y-intercept of 1. Boom, and I have a slope of minus 1. So, something like so, and a solid line because it can equal that. Not a very straight line, but that's okay. The sketch. And then um, the next one. Oh, we haven't shaded our region yet. Let's see, which ones have we got? So let's, uh, oh good, we can use 0, 0, because that's below the line there. Let's put 0 in here. So 0 plus 0 is 0. Is 0 bigger than or equal to 1? No, it is not. So I will be shading this part of the region. Notice if, if there's no restrictions given on the domain or the range, I'm assuming it's all real numbers. So these would be all of these points above the line. And uh, moving on to the blue graph, so um, negative y, we're going to minus 2x from both sides. And now I'm going to divide by negative 1, remembering to reverse the inequality sign. Dividing this by this by negative 1 makes it positive 2. And dividing negative 4 by negative 1 makes it positive 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have a slope of 2, so up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up. 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 
And in this case here, now I am going to do a dashed line because there is no equal sign underneath this uh, inequality sign. So a dashed line's coming down here. So there's the boundary line for this, and we are going to test, let's test zero, zero for this inequality. Um, I'll put it in this one because it's tidy. So zero for y, put in zero for x, two times zero is zero. Is zero smaller than four? Yes, it is. So we are shading everything below, everything below this line. And so I think we can see that our region where it overlaps would be would be this one. Now it's good to remember that this is a solid line, so we could include all the points on here. And this is a dashed line, so we know we can't include all the points on here. Now right where these two lines intersect, what we might do is we might put an open circle right on there to indicate that we can't actually use that point. That point works on the on the red line, on that red inequality, but it can't it does not satisfy the blue inequality so we'd have to do a little open circle and that would tell people you can't use that corner point because um, it, it doesn't satisfy the blue inequality but everywhere on this red line here and everywhere above it this would be the region where both red and blue e inequalities are satisfied those points will work so that's how we can graph uh, systems of linear inequalities